here. Hi. <laughs> and I am thrilled uh, to be here this evening. Michael Keegan and Ron Feldman, I guess you are the guys who put this together uh, prominently for People for the American Way. That's uh, Keegan over there. Where's Mr. Feldman? Ron Feldman <laughs> here. Yeah. I don't know, uh, a lot of you uh, won't re wouldn't remember 30 years ago, uh, but this fall, People for the American Way will be 30 years old. Congratulations. It's hard to believe, <laughs> it's, it's hard to believe for a number of reasons, particularly hard because uh, all the problems that existed when this began exist as much today if not more so, largely because people like you and me have for the most part been asleep. Awake now and again, uh, but in bulk, asleep. Whoever said uh, eternal vigilance is the price of liberty didn't sell us well enough <laughs> 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 to all of us. Uh, people before it started, I, I was amused in 1970 uh, to see the proliferation of right-wing evangelical ministers on television. Uh, amused because they seemed uh, Falwell and Robertson and so forth, more amusing than scary at the beginning. And because I saw a way to, uh, to do a film, which I wished to call religion, uh, to savage what I saw, much in the way that Patty Chayefsky, uh savaged network and, and uh, medicine and so forth with the, the film Hospital. And uh, I thought these guys were jokers and, uh, and, and, and a bit dangerous, but they needed to, uh, to be savaged as he did. And so I started to work on a screenplay. Uh, I have that available for anybody here who wishes to produce a screenplay. <laughs> and uh, the more I watched them, however, the more frightened I got. This was not the America I understood. And, uh, and I woke up one morning and thought, well, it'll take me four years to get this done, the film. And I had an idea for a, uh, uh, a television spot, a 60-second television spot that would carry the message I was uh, thinking about. And so we made a television spot with a, uh, a working guy on a piece of uh, factory equipment, the camera pushing into him slowly. As he said uh, uh, that he and his wife and his kids sit around and argue politics and they disagree a thousand ways all the time. They're always disagreeing about politics around the table. And now he's got a lot of ministers on radio and television and in the mail telling him that they are good Christians or bad ones, depending on those political points of view. And, uh, and he says his, he knows his wife is a better Christian than he is, but these guys uh, uh, on television agree more with him than with her. And anyway, he winds up saying, uh, there's got to be something wrong when anybody even ministers tell you you are a good Christian or a bad one, depending on your political point of view. That's not the American way, he winds up saying. Well, I finished that, <laughs> looked at it, and thought, who the hell am I to come after the Christian right? I'm Jewish. I'm a product of the Hollywood community. Oh, my God. There's a doubleheader. Uh, and, uh, and I'm, uh, you know, well-heeled. Not the the way you're supposed to be coming after these guys. So I flew to South Bend, Indiana. I had an acquaintance with uh, Father Hesburgh at Notre Dame, and I took it to him. And, uh, and he thought, right on, Norman. And then he said this, which I will never forget. I thought, deathless in my mind. He said, in addition to everything you are concerned about, we in, uh, among mainline uh, church leaders are also deeply concerned with the way they, what was his adjective, was it savage? The, which, the way they savage uh, the Bible, 
the, 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 uh, the word with which they savaged the The way they treated everything that was sacred to mainline church readers was not, uh, which is what is going on today as we listen to the Tea Party and, uh, and those uh, in the Tea Party who are telling us uh, the First Amendment is for Christians. I mean, all the crazy nonsense we're hearing that unfortunately has gained ground with, uh, I don't know if it's gained ground or they do know better, but the confluence of corporate America and uh, the neoconservative movement and the religious right, especially the crazies on the far right, uh, I think uh, there's, the, there, there's the fourth war. We have three real wars and the culture war. And I think the culture war uh, is a result of the confluence of those three major uh, forces in the American culture.